Hey everybody, I'm Jessica and you are watching Blue Ridge Bubble Works. I am excited today because I have not made soap for a while. I guess I take that back. This is actually the second soap I'm making even though it's going to be the first video that you see. So technically I did make soap. I made my cupcakes. You'll see those next. But still, I have, I have been out of soap making for, it seems like, Ever. So it's just fun to get back into it. And today we are going to be using Green Irish by Nature's Garden. And one of the main reasons that I'm using this, well, number one, it's a great fragrance. And actually, it's empty. I've used this whole bottle um, several months ago when I was planning what I was going to be doing around this time of year. I had actually contracted the dreaded virus. And I lost my sense of smell and I was like, how, how am I supposed to be able to like try new fragrances and make new things without being able to smell it? So I decided that the soap I was going to make for this month was going to be fragrances that I knew that I, al I already knew that I loved. And so this was one of, this is actually one of the first fragrances that I ever used when I first started making soap. And it was just one of those things. There, there have been a few fragrances that I've gotten over the years that were just bad. I just don't like them, you know, because you like some stuff and you don't like other stuff. I'm sure there's people out there who love those fragrances and they're their favorites or whatever, but I didn't like them. But the first time I ordered um, fragrance oils, I got three or four and they are still my favorites. So, and this was one of them, the Green Irish. And it's it's very similar to Irish Spring, only better. I don't know, Irish Spring, it smells good, but it also, to me, kind of smells cheap. I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it other than that, but um, this is just a much better quality. So, let's talk about the colors we're gonna be using first, because there's a whole bunch of them, I can get them out of the way. All right, I've got Savage Garden by Nature Soap. I've got Rainforest, but I said nature soap. It's nurture soap. Whatever. Nature's Garden, nurture soap. Too similar for me to constantly get them correct. Anyway, so Rainforest, nurture soap. And then I've also got a 50-50 mixture of Kermit Green from Brambleberry and Got to add a little bit of the neon green from Nurture Soap. And I also have I also have the white, the matte white pigment powder for oils and some Maya Gold. Why is this not wanting to focus? There we go. Maya Gold from Nurture Soap. Uh, I don't know what it is about this fragrance. I cannot see this fragrance in anything but greens. And I, I try really hard to you know, smell a fragrance and know the name of the fragrance and then branch out from the box, so to speak. And this one, I just can't, you know, like, I, I don't know. You can't, you can't have like a, a fall scent with the cinnamon and it's, and the spice and then have the soap look like a beach, you know, like that's weird. Like it just doesn't go. And I feel like any design that I come up with, with this, that isn't greens, it just doesn't work for me. I just can't get past it. So this is this is green, green, green. And I like all my greens. So let's get started with mixing it all up. All right, so my house is actually quite cold. <laughs> uh, we heat with wood and our wood stove is not the most efficient wood stove we've ever had because we've heated with wood in other houses. But this one, for some reason, it just doesn't work quite as well. So it is quite chilly. Uh, the room that the wood stove is in this morning, there's a thermometer in there and it was only 65 degrees in that room. And so this room is actually cooler than that. Doesn't bother me personally, but it's not so great for soap all the time. And because of that, you can see my lye water cooled off very quickly and it's got all the little floaties in there. So I'm definitely going to strain it because I don't want, you know, chunky lye crystals in there because that's just weird. Here, let's get this out first. Yeah, look at all those chunkies saved from going in the soap. Right, 
so. All right, I think that's actually the least amount I have ever stick blended a soap. But like I said, it's very cold in here and I just don't want to take the chance that it's going to accelerate because it's probably going to accelerate because of the cold. Um, I actually had to heat up my oils because they had started to solidify again. So I had to wait for the oils to cool off a little bit. And I know there was a temperature difference between the oils and the lye water. And it's, it's hard to work in an environment that you can't really control the temperature as much. I, I really can't control it as much as I would like to. All right, so let's get these. This looks good. And I'm not going to add the fragrance oil yet because it's going to take me a while. Like I said, I've got four, well, I've got three greens, a gold, and then white is going to go in here. So it's going to take me a while to get all that mixed up. So I'm going to add the fragrance oil in a little bit. hand mixed in this definitely white always needs to be stick blended plus I have decided to experiment with something I bought some kale and clay months and months ago before way before I even started doing fall and Christmas fragrances but I didn't use it in any of those for any of those soaps because this is my that was my biggest selling season and I didn't want to try something brand new during that season so this is I got the kale and clay and I mixed it with my fragrance oil. That's why it looks kind of milky and and kind of grody, actually. So, and I don't know if this was even the best fragrance to start with, with this. Because the kale and clay is supposed to help the fragrance really stick in the bar. That's one of the things it does. But um, this fragrance, I've never had any trouble with it fading. Like, it stays strong for a long, long, long time. Way longer than it takes for me to sell out or run out and use it all. So... We'll see how it goes. We'll see what it does. I guess this will be almost like a control because I'll know how the soap feels different, but I'll know that the, you know, the smell already is going to stay. All right. So... one of my favorite things to do when there's lots of colors involved. Um, these in the cups are still really, really runny, but that's all right. I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to do the dark. 
first and just see just toss it in there then I'll do the lightest green and I'm not going to scrape these out because I'm going to put these this on it's not that much in there but it's enough to do a little bit on top of the soap and then I'm going to do the my gold and the then last I'm going to do the rainforest now I think that actually looks really cool right there but I know that these were very runny so I'm going to let this sit for two three four minutes something like that I'll keep checking it and when I'm ready to pour into the mold we'll come back okay I let this sit for a couple minutes it's still pretty runny but I think it is thick enough that the colors are not going to get too muddy. So we're going to go ahead and pour. And I am just going to pour in one side and let it flow across and we'll see how it looks. across a little bit but only to get that last little bit out very careful getting this out look at these colors they're staying so separate oh this is just the perfect consistency and I don't I haven't decided what I'm gonna do to the top I don't know I kept some back I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I think we're just gonna play with it and see what happens. Let's tap this down. Get it nice and flat. And you guys had a little earthquake, didn't you? <laughs> forget how nice it is to work with but it just ended up perfect for our not ideal situation with with the uh, temperature and everything so this fragrance really just performed beautifully so I grabbed me a little stick but I didn't want to get soap on you know in, in the drawer or anything like that so I think I'm just gonna do a little random a little random swirl see how that goes that looks cute all right I like that let me pull some of this gold through I really like that gold and the dark green together See if I can pull it through some more in other places. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone before, oh, okay, there we go. Leave it alone before I mess it up and give it another little tap to make sure that it's good and flat. Now, I actually have a lid that came with one of my, um, one of these molds came with a lid, not all of them did. But I have wrapped it in plastic wrap because I don't want the wood to touch the soap. So I'm just going to place this on here and I'm going to get a towel and wrap it all up because remember it's cold in here and I would really love for this to go through gel phase. I don't know if it will just because it is so cold but I'm going to do what I can to get it to go through gel and we will be back for the cut. <laughs> 